In a decisive move to enhance its maritime defenses, Denmark has committed nearly 880 million kroner to acquire a new batch of evolved Sea Sparrow missiles, ESSM, Block 2, significantly expanding the air defense arsenal of the Royal Danish Navy. Acting on the Danish Chief of Defense's recommendations, the government approved the funding as part of a broader strategy to meet the evolving challenges posed by hostile aircraft, cruise missiles, and unmanned aerial systems. The funds are being drawn from the Accelerations Fonden, Denmark's dedicated defense acceleration fund designed to fast-track strategic military enhancements. In tandem with the new purchase, deliveries of previously scheduled ESSM units are being brought forward, ensuring that the Royal Danish Navy's most advanced warships, particularly the Ever Hutfeld class frigates, are rapidly outfitted for high-threat environments. The ESSM Block II, developed collaboratively under NATO's long-running Sea Sparrow initiative, brings cutting-edge capabilities to the fleet. This upgraded missile uses both active and semi-active radar homing for increased autonomy, allowing it to track and destroy targets without continuous guidance from the ship's radar. This feature is especially critical when operating under conditions of electronic warfare or high saturation. The missile can hit speeds beyond Mach 4 and reach distances over 50 kilometers. It carries a powerful 39-kilogram blast fragmentation warhead, triggered by a proximity fuse for precision engagement of fast-moving aerial threats. Its design permits four missiles to be housed in a single MK-41 vertical launch cell, enabling ships to significantly increase their defensive payload without expanding their physical launch capacity. Interoperability has been a guiding principle in the missile's development. ESSM Block II is fully compatible with a range of vertical launch systems and is adaptable to numerous radar systems, including the Aegis and APR platforms, as well as Denmark's own Stanflex modules. The system also integrates seamlessly with NATO's Cooperative Engagement Capability, CEC, providing real-time data sharing for coordinated multivessel defense. Denmark's frontline surface fleet includes three Ever Hutfeld class frigates, vessels optimized for advanced air defense, and two Absalon class ships capable of switching roles between combat operations and logistical support. The Ever Hutfeld frigates host a formidable array of weapons, including SM, two interceptors, harpoon anti-ship missiles, torpedoes, dual naval guns, and a close-in weapons system, CIWS. Their aviation facilities accommodate large helicopters such as the AW101 Merlin or MH-60R Seahawk. Although originally designed for transport and amphibious roles, the Absalon-class frigates are heavily armed, boasting multiple VLS units, harpoon launchers, and a 127mm main gun, with the added ability to carry either battle tanks or troops. Their modular configuration ensures mission adaptability ranging from humanitarian operations to frontline combat. Denmark's Defense Minister Trolls Lund Poulsen underscored the urgency of this upgrade, citing the multifaceted nature of threats to Danish vessels operating in contested waters. He stressed the importance of equipping ships with autonomous systems capable of rapid and independent threat neutralization. Chief of Defense General Michael Wiggers Heildgard echoed the sentiment highlighting the missile's proven reliability, interoperability, and relevance in NATO-led operations. Beyond its five main combat ships, Denmark's navy includes 12 vessels across the Thetis, Nud Rasmussen, and Diana classes, all built for Arctic and coastal patrol missions. The fleet also comprises four advanced mine hunters and operates out of Frederikshavn and Korsor. This structure supports a tiered defense model integrated closely with NATO maritime operations. The recent missile procurement is a component of Denmark's 10-year defense plan, 2024-2033, which earmarks 50 billion kroner for modernizing military assets. The early years of the plan, 2025 and 2026, will see a particularly aggressive investment rate, with 25 billion kroner allocated annually to fortify capabilities swiftly. From 2027 onward, a steady 10 billion kroner per year will sustain the momentum. The latest order marks a continuation of Denmark's strategic shift initiated in earlier phases of its defense policy, including previous efforts to augment short-range missile reserves. ESSM Block II stands out as a central pillar of this transformation, 
bringing Denmark's naval defenses up to modern standards while reinforcing the nation's commitment to collective deterrence within Europe. With this significant missile acquisition, Denmark positions itself as a proactive and reliable partner within NATO, ready to face 21st century threats with upgraded technology and improved force readiness. The move signals not just tactical improvement but a deliberate step toward reshaping the role of the Danish Navy in the broader framework of European security.